Welcome to the Agents of Rock podcast with your hosts, Bill Algie, Dennis Talbot, and Alan Tate. We are three guys who have one thing in common, a love of rock and roll. Our goal is to talk about all things rock. We hope you find this show intriguing, funny, and occasionally highly opinionated. Enjoy. Welcome back to the Agents of Rock podcast. It is Bill, Dennis, Alan, and Bill's buddy, that'd be me, Scott Wilson. How you doing, man? Hey, doing good. Thanks for having me on, guys. Well, Scott's doing a little last minute uh, action for us. We uh, have a topic tonight, and I'm like, you know, Scott might be a good guy to have on to have a little chat about his 10 favorite songs and to be turned up to 11 or 14 or I think mine goes to 18, which is an odd number. It's like, what the hell, 18? <laughs> who picked 18 uh, okay. excuse me sir 18 oh. is an even number okay well they could have picked 20 that's, <laughs> that's also an even number well you know if i don't call you number. if i don't call you out on it one of our listeners will so yeah probably yeah <laughs> it's probably true but i'm like i'm looking at the knob and i'm like why did they pick that why anyway, are you looking anyway. at your knob well, because no one else will. Well, I, well, I can see that one. <laughs> I can it see don't that go to eight. It don't go to eighteen. I'll guarantee it. It does <laughs> centimeters. That's, that's, uh, that's in millimeters, not inches. Yeah, say, yeah. some metric shit. Well, I should have said centimeters and at least give you that. Well, I, I was trying, but hey, whatever. <laughs> we sit here long enough; it'll grow. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> God damn, we're not even two minutes in, and this show is already in the shitter. That's the way it works. <laughs> Every week, Scott's sitting there going, I cannot tell anybody I was on here. <laughs> I have a reputation. <laughs> so, Scott, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know that you uh, live here in Columbus, Indiana, not too far from me, and uh, my son likes to hang out at your house, which I think is kind of weird, but hey, you got a really cool movie room, so that's pretty neat. So, Well, and I've got a really cute daughter, so... Uh maybe maybe that's part of it i don't know actually i uh for uh, alan and dennis i coached um bill's son alex uh in basketball at high school and uh honestly one of the best kids i've ever coached and and uh got to give a lot of credit to his mom uh super teammate um really good really good kid to coach and and uh when he graduated and went on to college he and i kept in touch and we do get to hang out uh, quite often and, and i get to see bill quite often uh he he and his wife like to come out and listen to our band and and uh uh you know my love for music has has always been a uh, part of me um you know i've tried different instruments growing up and and uh Basically, when I graduated from Purdue in 94, I bought a guitar and I've not advanced much more than that. I'm a guitar owner, uh, but I'm a singer. So the reason I bought the guitar was to, to be able to get in, in bands and, and play out. And, and uh, we, man, we have a blast doing it. And, and we love when, when Bill and, and Lisa come out and, and some of our other friends in the, in the community. So I'm excited to be on tonight. I'm excited about the uh, top 10 and, and uh, uh, you know, just talking about like the memories, uh, you know, I heard Bill say in an, uh, another one of your podcasts about certain songs give you certain memories. And a lot of my songs <clears throat> are very particular to a time period. And when I saw that that song live or heard it the first time or who I was with. And uh, it's kind of fun to rehash that, uh, even if not on the podcast, just in my head as I'm kind of going through and getting my top 10 together. So it's been fun already. Cool. Well, true confession time. I haven't even started my top 10 list yet. <laughs> what? I have a Spotify playlist with 75 <clears throat> songs that make me turn it up. So I can pick 10 out of that list. Yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah. So I'm, I know nobody at work watches this. So this is kind of some of the stuff I did at work today <laughs> with post it notes. So yeah. I actually put mine on my phone. Yeah. Like 24. <laughs> and I had, I, we talked about this earlier. We had, well, I'll tell you what my, my prerequisite for for what i what picked. You picked yeah so we'll whittle it down a little bit and then we can talk about some honorable mentions which will be which yeah. is always kind of fun too so if you got any of those so i got one of those all right you want to head into it well i want to bring up real quick well i was gonna i was gonna gripe but i read something right before i come on here and now i'm happy again what do you want to uh, gripe about what well, were you going to gripe about judas priest came out last week talking about oh. they were going to go out as a four-piece 
Yeah, I, I saw that too. And it lit the internet up. I mean, I've never seen so many <clears throat> people complain, bitch, moan, say shit, even inside the people who worked for Priest at one point or did work for Priest was talking shit about it. And even their, I think it's it's a, it's a woman. I don't know if it's their manager or whoever it was coming there and said, well, this was, a, you know, this was their decision, blah, blah, blah. I just read today that Saturday they announced that they're actually yeah. going back to the five piece. There's no way they could have played those songs from Judas Priest with one guitar. I don't care. Faulkner would have been in the hospital again with another, he'd been with a stroke <laughs> trying to cover those. T- <laughs> the boys had a rough year. Don't make it harder on them. And it did, those songs would just not <clears throat> sound right with one guitar. I'm sorry. You guys I'm ready glad. for my conspiracy theory? Uh, I thought they did well, that you know, PR. It was a PR probably, thing. probably, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could have been, but yeah, it it yeah, it got the attention. It shook a lot of people's cages. Yeah, you know? man. So pissed a lot of people off. <laughs> so Scott, you want to tell a little story about uh, Jewish priest? <clears throat> yeah. So I was actually playing at a gig one day on a on a Sunday, and uh, my phone was blown up, and it was one of my buddies here in town. And I thought, well, I'm I'm, a, I'm also a, a, an insurance agent, so I thought, well, he's been in a car wreck or something, so. In between songs, I kind of reached down. I texted him. I said, hey, is everything all right? And uh, he said, yeah, my daughter wants to go see Metallica tonight at, at uh, Louder Than Life down in Louisville. I'll buy you a ticket if you'll go with me. And uh, he said, and Judas Priest is opening for him. And I said, hell yes, because we had just had the conversation probably three weeks ago before a couple of buddies and I were sitting around drinking beer and we were saying, who's one band that's still touring that you haven't seen yet that you want to see? before they're done. And I said, no question is Judas Priest. And then that was the night that uh, their lead guitar player had that a- annual aortic aneurysm. And my buddy that I went with is actually a doctor. And during the show, he, he leaned over to me and he said, uh, man, that dude does not look right. Like it, that, this life is hard on these guys. Well, it's because he was having an aortic <laughs> aneurysm while we were watching him. Yeah, he was so, extremely lucky. I'm thinking Very it's lucky. good that I got to, you know, that I went because that may have been my last chance. Who knows? I mean, who knows what happens, you know, if they, they continue to or whatever. Right. But they were incredible. Yeah. I was shocked at Rob Halford that he can still sing like that. Shocked. Now, he sat most of the time, <clears throat> but I mean, the dude was incredible. But one of my favorite parts of the show, he said, uh, uh, he says, we got this guy from across the pond that thinks he can play a little guitar and he's going to come out and play a little with us. And uh, it was a perfect setup. Kurt Hammett walked out and played a song with him. And it was just, I mean, it was huh. pretty incredible. It was awesome. How we doing? Cool. So, that's that my cool. priest story. That's a pretty cool. good one. It is that's a pretty good me. one. Yeah, I just All thought right. that was interesting. I was, I was going to get ready. I'm glad I saw that article before I got on here because I look like a dumbass. It's like, wait a minute. This is my, that, they announced it on Saturday. <laughs> but I've been on a kind of a news blackout and kind of not really getting on the internet, the internet that much. So that's why I, I just read it five minutes before I got on here. I'm like, <laughs> I, had, I, wish, I had a I note. Wish to, you had <laughs> I, I had a note to bring it up. So, oh, okay, good. Cause I knew, cause I knew that he was going to be on now and, and yeah, well, that's this a little story. So I thought we better probably ought to get breach, uh, bridge that as we can. So, all right, let's get rolling. All right. So we're doing our top 10 songs that we got to turn up to 11 or 14 or 18 or 20 or whatever hell number it is. Only even numbers, apparently. There you go. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. There's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> well, there was um, no rules set. So there are no rules. Set, my set no there, rules. You set your own rules. So. You set your own rules. And you're going to break your own rules anyway. Dude. We're going to break your own rules. So um, we can vote. You want to get? You just want to have some fun? We'll just when you say your thing, we'll just all vote whether we would be up or down on leaving sure. that at eleven. Yeah. How's that sound? We'll yeah, just, that we'll just do a little yeah. bit of fun that way. Right. Kind of and a we can, yank it or uh, crank can, it. <laughs> yank it. Well, we could do yank it or crank it. If yeah, you want. We yeah, done, let's do that. We haven't done that. We haven't done yank it or crank it for a while. Whatever, whatever the guy says, everybody In else like either. Six years. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's been a while. Yeah, we did that when we first started, but we were young then. We were young. We, we yanked it and cranked well, we it a lot. We pulled it out until about three years past. into it, and then <laughs> we did it for a few weeks, and then it just kind of got, I don't know, got old. I think the last it time we old. did it was, it was Canadian Yanker Crank. I think we did that. With, yeah, it probably uh, had a different term. Mitch was Mitch or somebody, I think. So we did. That's right. Canada. Was I it don't Mitch know. or was it? It may have I, been, uh, I don't know who it was. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, right along. It wasn't Kalen because that would be wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can tell you that. 
<laughs> it might have been uh, uh, Tall Stanley. Paul wasn't what? on the show. No, oh, Paul Stanley. Todd Kearns. Todd Kearns. <laughs> May have been him. <laughs> no, I think it was. I think it was Mitch. Anyway, Tall Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> I like what they call him. It's funny. Paul I called. I yelled across when I was on the kiss cruise outside, and I yelled, "Tall Stanley!" And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "He knows it." <laughs> That's too funny. Right. Good lord! All right, who wants to go first? Our guest. Yeah. Oh, Scott, you get to go first. Okay, and I'm just reading like number ten, and we it doesn't count you down. Can, any I order. Do have have, I don't have any. Well, whatever you want to do. Man. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you that I did set kind of some rules for me. I was going to try to stay away from repeating uh, bands or artists, so I I just went with ten different. Right. Um, and I may not actually decide on the exact song until I get to it because I'm I'm so close on a couple of songs. But my first uh, my first one is uh, uh, Ronnie James Dio, Holy Diver. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. That's we'll a, give that I mean, a crank. It. That's a crank. Yeah. Yeah, that's a crank. It. Yeah. All right. that you got three song. cranks on that one. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <hard> <laughs> <and one. laughs> that was a song though for a while. I was really burnt on because our our band did it. It was our opener song for many many years in college, and there was a few years in there that I wouldn't have cranked that song. But it's been it's been enough time now. <laughs> it's come back. Alan, you go. All right, my criteria is I have a playlist called Alan's Random Favorites, and there is no repeating artists on it, so there will not be a repeated artist wow. on my list either. And my first song I chose because what better way to uh, tell your girlfriend to fuck off than write a song and make her sing it? Go Your Own Way is one of those crank it to number 11s for me. By Fleetwood cool. Mac, for those of you who might not know. Right. Yep. I'll give that a crank it. I keep the I volume. I, I keep it. the volume the same. I wouldn't turn it down, but oh, I wouldn't. Oh, oh, oh! So so we're not I'm going crank dentist. it or yank it. We're going crank <clears throat> it or just leave it alone. <laughs> if I have to do something, I'm I'm probably yanking that one. Sorry, Alan. Oh, okay. You do not have to apologize, man. That's that's what's great about music. If you like right. it, that's great. If you don't like it, that's well, great. Well, I like the song. But I'm not so, listing. I'm not going to put it in a, in the list of like my list of what I want to just you know get after it. Right. Right. Cool. That's a good. All right. I like the song. I'll take it. All right, Dennis. All right. So my list can, is basically in the. I'm just thinking of the last month when I'm sitting in the car. So I either listen to a alternate rock station, I listen to a uh, classic rock station, and I listen sometimes to just a just a rock station, the one out of Owensboro. And then I also get when I'm in the Kelly's car, we've got Sirius. So I don't have a whole lot. You know, maybe there's some seventies and eighties, but same thing. Didn't repeat. And it's just songs in the last month that I remember that I cranked up. And actually one of them, the one first one on the list is the one I was going to Lowell's today and got in the car. And the first song that turned on was of course, modern day cowboy by Tesla. And it went, <laughs> I cranked it up. So that was my first crank. All right. I'll give that one a thumbs up. I give, yeah, that I'll that one. I'll give that a crank. Yeah, yeah it's a good song. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, a good I'll, song. I'll be honest with you. I, for, I don't know why, because I like Tesla in their heyday, but I went for about a five or six year period that if Tesla came on radio, I changed it. Yeah. Signs will do that to me. But other well, I, oh. I, I understand that. <laughs> you know, but I like really, that song. Yeah, I, I know. I know Dennis uh, hates Tesla it. Song. I, like I know, but I still like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. So mine. Um, and this actually was the first thing that popped in my head when I was making this list, which will probably drive you know, to be a little bit nutty. I think uh, Scott will get it, but sad by sad, but true by Metallica, oh, yeah. just the beginning of that song. And it's just like, it's got to go and it's got to go. Actually, I was home <clears> by myself one time. I think I rattled the cages of the neighbors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's that, it's that heavy bass line that it that is starts that, into that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Draw it in. I wouldn't turn it down, but I wouldn't turn it up. I just leave it normal. I'm not a big metallic. What is wrong with you? I, that's okay. the one that starts out with that really low bass. Uh, uh, yeah. I uh, think uh, Jason uh, Newsted said they did that. Newsted said they did that with a 12 string bass. Yeah. Said Are you serious? Them, said it took them forever to find that sound that they were looking for. Huh. Uh, I wow. saw that in an interview. You know, they were talking. It was an anniversary, like a ten-year anniversary of that album. Well, you know that that song didn't. It wasn't off of Injustice for All because there is no bass on the <laughs> <There's album. no laughs> bass. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. 
if it's it's there but it's really quiet <laughs> it's oh, turned no. down harvester sorrows uh wow. there's some pretty good bass in that right he just wasn't cool. drink all right what you got for number two is it back to me already back yep. to you uh <clears throat> one of the most unique voices uh guys that can sing like a lot of guys can't is bruce dickinson so i'm going to uh run to the hills by iron maiden crank i'll go with that <laughs> you're an instigator alan i can tell <laughs> at least i was nice about it when i told you i said crank oh i thought you said yank no <laughs> oh, no that's no. one of the like eight iron maiden songs that i like oh man that's or a i jam. know yeah. I'm actually I'm I'm gonna be the bad guy here. I'm a yanker on that one. That's the only song by Iron Maiden that I don't like. I never have liked that song. Wow, what he is wrong like with you? Video. He didn't like the video. It was on Headbangers Ball. He's hated it ever since. I just don't like it. <laughs> I just made that but the video's no kind of stu- video's stupid too. <laughs> I, I just never <laughs> been a fan. I mean, I'm a big Iron Maiden fan, but I just I just that song I never has done nothing for me. So sorry. <laughs> wow. Hmm. All right. All right, Alan. My next one is going to be Roll On Down the Highway by Bachman Turner Overdrive. Really? Back, in, back in my younger days, I wanted to be a truck driver. And that's this song is about being a truck driver. You know, and if you pay attention to the lyric, uh, the lyrics, you know, unless you read the lyrics, about half of them you can't really understand. We you know, like it's talking about a guy on the gor- corner, he's starting to write, got to scream out of sight, you know running away from a speeding ticket shit like that hmm. all right for when me you, that's a that's a yank it for me i have got nothing i just keep it i just keep it at the same volume i wouldn't do anything with it well gonna, next week we will have someone in bill's play no kidding <laughs> <laughs> depending on how this goes scott you might have a job <laughs> <laughs> or no yeah what'd you what do you think scott do you get any, you get any I, uh i'm kind of like a, I mean i like the song i, I don't think i'd you know, get out of my comfortable chair to go turn it up. Agreed. I'd probably <laughs> just leave control. that one there. Come on. Yeah. Well, I've been working on this old, huge 70s turntable. <clears throat> got to get some old records out. And I can't, I can't, haven't quite fixed it. But the volume knob, you know, I got to go over there and turn it. So there can't do that from the seat. Yep. I still have to, I still have to touch the knobs too. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Whatever. Nah. Okay. All right. Alan. No, no, you just went. No, I just yeah. went. Dennis. All right. Uh, this just happened a couple of mornings ago. I left to go to work. Or actually, it was, oh, no, it was Saturday. I went. I was going to the store. And about the same spot that this one came on to this morning, Train Train by Blackfoot came on. <laughs> and I went, yep, crank it up. It was good. That's a, that's a great song. It's a good what song. song. Did you say that oh, was? Blackfoot. Train Train, train, train. Blackfoot. Even yep. keel. Yeah. I, I won't turn it off, but I won't turn it up. Right. Yeah. Like same that, so. I would agree. I think we got three evens on that one. Really? Okay. I always I think so. I always get a kick out of it. Anyway. All right. My uh the second one on my list is um a song that when I was taking the boys out to play pal football, we always listen to it in my truck, and actually they still talk about it. So it is Shame, Shame, Shame by Rat. Nice. And uh, I had to have, I had to replace the speakers in there twice. I don't even know that. that song. <laughs> I don't even remember that song. It's um, uh, it's on later. That's on. A, yeah, I don't have it. It's on that near. Yeah, I know. I've heard it. I just I don't really. I I'd have to listen to it. Yeah, that's. You know, a, that's think if it was rad, it would be exterminator. You would think, <laughs> but I don't know. they're probably afraid of that one, so they didn't. They didn't pick it. I guess I don't know. All right, so we're on to number three. Um, <clears throat> I had uh, Black Sabbath War Pigs. Good song. Yeah, kind of, I'm kind of burnt. I let it sit. Well, you're burnt. We know that. But well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm good. I'm good with that. I crank that. I like that song. I crank it. Yep. Okay. All right, Dennis. What do you got? Oh, oh no. Sorry, hey, sorry, Alan. Alan. Hold, hold, hold on a second before before we get to Alan. If you take the the lyrics to War Pigs, you can put it on top of Deck the Halls and vice versa. Now, you're going to think about this for a minute, but get on YouTube and look that up. Uh-oh, somebody's get, done that. You can, Yes, it's pretty fucking funny. I've heard it done both ways. 
So wow, there, there's your useless shit. It's usually the Alan bullshit stuff today. It is not bullshit. Look it up on YouTube. I swear. Oh, no, no. It's, it's right, working right, right now. Down, Bill. Right oh, in It's down, working. Bill. I've got it going, man. Working. <laughs> it works. <laughs> My next one is John Fogarty, the old man down the road. Hell yes. Yes. Not a Fogarty fan. Eh. No, that song's a jam. I give it, I give it, I give it a flat. I give oh, it a flat. I'm not gonna I give it, it even. I give it even, but I, I listen wouldn't to turn it. it off. I didn't. Well, I don't know there, if I... there are a couple of CCR songs that could easily fall right under that. You right. know, traveling band is right there with it, but I'm gonna go with uh the old man down the road. We right. we uh in our band we do a mashup <clears throat> with old man down the road and um locomotive breath by Jethro Tull, same key, same. It's an incredible mashup, and we go oh, old man pressure. down the road into the Jethro Toll, and then back to old man and finish. And it's just see, it's a great, oh, uh, great mix that our guitar player came up with. It's it's really fun. That's a jam. I love that old man. I, down I'm the road. not a Jethro Toll fan, but I would like to check that out. I'm not either, but it just fits. You know, they're, oh, I, they're both in the key of E. It's just it works perfectly. Totally get it. Cool. All right, all right, Dennis. All right, my like I told you guys earlier, my my list is going all over the fucking place. I'm serious. This is, this is really really shit. It's <clears> weird <throat> stuff. So anyway, my next one is Flag Posita by a Harvey Danger. Have you ever heard that song? Yep. No idea. If, if you ever if you see an American about. Pie, you, you would know it's, the song it's, yeah. if you heard it. And it's okay. it's like it's been an American Pie, one of those movies. It's 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 an alternative song, but it's 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 a good 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 jam. So I mean, check it out. What's it called? Well, Flag post Sitta. S I T T A. And it's by Harvey Danger. Huh. I got a couple yeah. here. You as as soon as you hear it, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Song. It's like, and you'll think of American Pie or one of those teenage songs. It's been on a couple of those movies. So, well, you know, that sounds kind of funny because I had forgotten about it. And the right. guy that sings in my current band, right. when I ran sound for his old band, they pulled that out of their ass one night. And I'm like, holy shit, I forgot. Oh, that's a great song. <laughs> But that's it's, what it's I liked catchy. about those guys because they always pulled shit out like that. It's like, oh mm. well, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> there you go. Cool. All right. All right, Alan. I already did mine. It's oh, you turn. did yours. Yeah. Oh, that was it's Dennis did just one. Yeah. And I can't keep track tonight. All right. All, right. All right. So mine um comes from <laughs> 1982 or 1983. I can't remember which, maybe the fall of 83 um when i was like you fell on your head when i was a <laughs> junior in high school i think it was um every morning on the way to school windows down it didn't matter what the weather was loud as hell it was thundering hearts by john mellencamp just that was the jam that's what we listened thundering to a lot hearts. of I yep. even know if you go back and listen to it the I beginning of it's that. just yeah you have to listen to it good mm -hmm. song that's mine that's one of them I'd have to listen. To so that. we got a lot of flatliners here. I can see. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't I know. I honestly, I can't. That, I can't come up with my head. I haven't heard with that it. one in years. That's so right. that, That's I'll, one I have to go back and listen to. I have to check it out. Well, it's good, and they give you something to, to listen to. Yep, it's, it's kind of funny because uh, we might be hearing that name again later. Oh, oh. surprise! All right, Scott, <laughs> back to you, man. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> My next one's a little bit of a guilty pleasure. It's not a it's not a band that I <clears throat> really listen to much, but uh, um, it's my my older brother who is also a musician and, and plays uh, uh, in a band. He has this bar in his garage. It's called Hefe's, and the rule is at Hefe's you you put you can put on the cue whatever song you want, what uh, whatever band, and it's a no no judge zone. Um, but their kind of band, their song that is their uh, theme song, they always start the night off with this theme song. And he's got like 70 speakers and it's just so loud. It's, it's, you can't <laughs> even talk to the guy next to you. But it is uh, Wash It All Away by Five Finger Death Punch. Cool. Oh, hmm. I don't know that. And it is like if you listen to it, write it down. You know, I got a list of things you guys are saying that I'm not sure. Right. Uh, yeah, listen to that one after. It's, it's just it's a very heavy song, but. That lead singer is one of those guys like, um, oh, the lead singer of, uh, oh, I can't think of the, the band right now, but like they can actually sing. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of it's screaming, but then they actually do songs or parts where they're like, my gosh, that sure. guy can actually freaking sing. Uh, Pantera, same with yeah. that guy. He's in some covers that are really, really good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Really good. So yeah. that's, I just, the, it's, it's heavy and it's a lot of bass and it's a, it's a jam. Listen to it. Cool. So you don't have to vote on that one since you guys probably don't know that one. Yeah. I don't know. that. Well, that one, um, that one's not one that I would turn off, but I wouldn't turn it up either. You know, oh, so you I know would, that one, Alan. Yeah. Uh, and true story. I've got a friend that's a huge five finger death punch fan and I called him five flavor fruit punch once I thought he was going to knock me out. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. <laughs> All right, Alan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, well, for some people, I guess they would call this next one a guilty pleasure because uh, most rockers aren't huge REM fans, but the one I love is such a great fucking song. And the best part about it is it's one verse. <laughs> it sings the same thing three fucking times. <laughs> but it's such well, a great song, you know? And it, it kind of sounds like he's dissing on somebody, but in interviews, he says he's not. He said he would never be that mean to anybody in real life. So hmm. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I'm, it's okay. Not but that that was my thing. number. Whatever we're on. Yeah. What is four, it? Four. What, what what was the it? The one I love by REM. Oh, the one I love. This, this one, one goes. Oh, you said that is the one I love, and I didn't catch that as, <laughs> as the title. Gotcha. Not an REM fan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm gonna go um, liner on that one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, liner. liner. Probably wouldn't turn Clear. it off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's dead now. All right, Dennis. All right. Uh the only hit from this one band. And it's probably one of them, it's probably one of my favorite songs. This this song just gets me pumped every time. But uh from the Toadies, Possum Kingdom. Great, That's a great song. song. That's a great song. Damn. Man. And for the mo for the majority of the United States of America, that's the only Toady or Possum Kingdom song they know. Yeah. <laughs> or Toadies song they know. Yeah. Yeah, and it and it and it never says possum kingdom in the song. It doesn't even. I bought the album, and the album sucks. It's just the the one song. When I heard that, I didn't know who they were, and I was in. I was told that story probably before. I was in Oklahoma City. I thought it sounded like sounds a lot like Cheap Trick. Sounds a lot like Robin Zander as voice. Some, but it's a great song. Yeah, just check it out. You'll like it. I'm gonna have to make a list. I'm gonna have to make a playlist of this. You heard I, 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 Bill, I, I, I guarantee you heard yeah. this song. I probably have heard it. That song is it. in this playlist, right? And you've yeah, heard we, it before, Bill. It's, it's just a matter. Of, <clears throat> it's in my playlist too. We, we actually, uh, my band, we we've, we've worked on that one to do. That's a tough song to play. If you it get out of, song, if you yeah. get out of sync, we we used to play it, and it can go really good, or it yeah. could be a fucking train wreck. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's a, that's. Go. I'm cranking that one. I like that. That's a great song. It is a good song. It's a crank. All right. Listen to it. all right so, so back all right. to me yep so um the only kiss tune i have in my list and i had and i've got to have one because i have and to let me guess all. which one it is oh you can guess I mean, it's not your you're not gonna be right it's not do you love me no <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry i knew you were gonna guess that so i know <laughs> so for me it's Unholy. heavens on fire it heavens on oh. fire oh nice. and it's just the big be- it's just the beginning of that mm. song and you have it cranked up when he first starts you know, as, as long as it's 1984, Paul Stanley, and not 2022, Paul Stanley. Yeah, no, yes. uh, he actually, wouldn't even he wouldn't even touch that with a ten foot pole, dude. Actually, it's the, it's the alive three, Paul Stanley, <laughs> which is which is okay too. Yeah, it's, Dennis, I I heard your joke. I don't think the other guys did. He wouldn't touch it with a ten foot pole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. Well, they weren't they weren't listening. It was good. We never listened to Dennis. <laughs> no, it's I'm just I've never been a fan of that song. But, that's okay but i wouldn't turn it down i just leave it i know your favorite's war machine so no oh my god that's <laughs> okay. yeah. That's, yeah that's 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 a pee break time for, for i, I for still dennis. can't believe dennis didn't pull some, or bill didn't pull something off the elder yeah, no shit. yeah. records you hate to the hate no. or love to hate that would be it yeah okay all right, all right scott back to you number four okay um no. I was gonna, where are the five farther along five. yeah number five the band was easy figuring out what song to, to put was not so in 90 in 1995 i saw clash of the titans tour and that was allison chains anthrax megadeth and slayer 
And I went to hear Megadeth and Slayer because those were the bands that I was really listening to. But Alice in Chains blew me away with Man in the Box. So ah, I'm saying song. Man in the Box. Now, if I had to pick an album, it'd be their live unplugged uh, MTV album. I think that album is absolutely incredible. But if it's one song from Alice in Chains, I got to go with Man in the Box and crank it. Yep, that's a crank. Absolutely. That's a yanker for me. Our band played that song. Because our band played that song. I fucking hate it. I Every just, one of us that's ever been in a band has had to play that fucking song. I know, and I, and I hate it. <laughs> Not a bad song. I just, I, I just can't listen to it no more. We yeah. get it. Yeah, we're it's still okay. gonna bust your chops about it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. you gotta get you, you sh- you'd, you'd like a lot more music if you weren't playing in a band. That's true. That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Why did, why did you join a band? Because I like music. Well, you like yeah, this song? Shit. Well, no, I don't like it because right. I've been in a band. <laughs> Burnt that song out. Fuck yeah. Did you do? Was it a shitty band? Because I mean, that, you waste a lot of good music on the shitty band. No, actually, we did, <laughs> our singer was really good at that. Oh, it was that's good. one of our our better songs. But it was one of those ones we played. It was always toward the end of the night, probably our second to the last song, and just. And for a guitar, it's just a really boring song to play. It's I mean, a boring it's, song to play. And it's three minutes of just, you know. It's like, and, and let me, I'm going to jump on Dennis's defense here. You know, if you don't have two people that can do those vocal parts, the yeah, fucking song is terrible. Yeah, yeah, it don't work. You know, because you got to get somebody to hit them highs like they're supposed to be hit. Right. And Well, that's what other, I really like. Otherwise, it sounds like a cat getting molested. Wow. And it's not a good thing. <laughs> That's what I really liked about their unplugged, uh, that MTV they didn't unplugged do that album. The, no, they didn't. Right. But just their voices together were just kind of raw. And, uh, you know, I think that was right after Lane came out of uh, rehab. Uh-huh. And, uh, a lot I of, mean, that, it was just raw. I just, I loved that sound that night. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize how much of the Alice in Chain sound is Jerry Cantrell. Oh no, they were but actually just so if you listen to his very first solo album, man, that is Alice in Chains. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I just yeah. saw that. I just saw some MTV Depot. clip. They did Angry Chair. Yeah. And like oh. I said, with him and him and Jerry were singing together. And like I'm like you, I had forgot how much that sound is Jerry's voice yeah. mixing in with Lane's mm-hmm. voice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cool. <clears throat> cool. All right, Alan. All right, my next pick is my ringtone for my lovely wife. She wanted me to have uh, Meredith Brooks's bitch as my ringtone, but since I work in a public library and she always calls me at the most inopportune times, I chose Motley Cruz Looks to Kill because Ooh. for her, it's very appropriate. That woman could just, if looks could kill, I'd have been dead back in 1994 <laughs> i would crank that song that's a good song man good absolutely song. i'll give it and i crank oh my gosh, too. I think it's a good song. one of my songs we can yeah, stop I'll the show it. now I can crank it. <laughs> i'll mark this what time what, what time is it what, what what's the time eight no, minutes, that's a good song. six minutes after okay <laughs> no, that's a good yeah I, i'd crank bitch too that's a good song yep yep all right dennis all right the uh, one I heard again today on the way back from Lowell's, they were really cranking today. And uh, nice, my Tesla. it's you no, know, and it's, it's actually not one of my, it's not my favorite song from this band, but I, I cranked it. So that's why I put it on here. And I said, it was going to be something that was le- recent, but it's uh Volbeat's doc holiday. I, I love Volbeat. Volbeat is, is that the guitar I work and, on the, and their songs. I mean, you just cannot not crank it up. Song in concert too. And they, they sound probably better in concert than they do on an album i saw them in our, the, I, our volbeat concert experiences are completely different really you didn't think i, 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 I saw them at uh rock Oklahoma one of those years oh, and I, it didn't do it for me yeah we saw them on the dot that that whatever that's that album comes off of it's the western looking thing but they um it was anthrax and them and it was good they were they were just fantastic wow and, cool uh, but no, it's it's that's a good and you just, it's like I said, they're just their music and the way the guitars are, it's it's good. But Doc Holiday is not my favorite song, but I I, I cranked it anyway. So but Bull Beak is my yeah, he's got a it. really unique voice that really it dark, is dark, yeah, it is real lower register. Kind of a, almost like a yodeling kind of thing going too. It's kind of yeah. so all right, cool. All right, mine is one of my favorite songs of all time, and that is All Right Now me. by Free. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's all right now by Free. That is a good song. I'd yeah. crank that too. That's crank a good it. song. 
I'll give that All right. one thumbs up. That's one of the two free songs that I know. Yeah, that's I knew two, I know two free songs. <laughs> the other one's the so, one Paul Stanley covered, isn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise I have the I have like their greatest hits record. Well, you know, it's like one Paul song. Paul Rogers is <laughs> supposedly is Paul Stanley's favorite vocalist. Yeah. He was one of also them. Yeah. he was also Freddie Mercury's favorite, one of his favorite singers. Yeah. That's why he they asked him to tour, which that was a complete <laughs> that was not right. Buster Cluck. <laughs> yes yeah all right all right back to you scott all right uh another hard band uh, actually the, the final groups are were all hard for me to pick one song but uh, uh i grew up a big megadeth fan and and uh in my darkest hour is uh probably the one that when it comes on i just i really just man i crank that knob all the way it's uh i i've, I've blown a few speakers with that song Cool. Not one of their most popular, but and it and it kind of builds in the song and it's uh write that on your list and listen to that one. All right. What is it's it again? In, in my, my darkest hour. hour. All right. You'll have to write yeah. it down too. That one I'm is not a, uh, I'm not a big mega death fan, so that one is one I won't turn off, but I won't turn it up either. The the stereo knob is way over there and I'm in my comfy chair. <laughs> <laughs> We had a lot of those conversations. What do you maybe we should have titled this? What are you willing to get your fat ass out the chair for? Yeah, <laughs> when we write the show description, that'll be yeah. the title. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, your job as soon as we're done recording. Yeah. yeah, all right, like as soon as we get there. <laughs> all right, all right, so, all right, Alan. Oh, it's my turn. I'm not even ready. <laughs> okay, um. I'm going to go with uh, somebody who just announced that they're going to do a tour later this year. Wasp. Wild Child by Wasp. Oh, you know? Wasp. Yeah. I, I'm not a huge Wasp fan. Oh. You know, that uh, song Animal, I can, I've heard that enough when I was 14 years old. I don't ever have to hear it again. Right. But uh, Wild Child, it is, my, it is my all-time favorite Wasp song, followed closely by L-O-V-E Machine. Right, you know, I like both, that both of those are crankers for me. I crank that one. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay for sure. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I know that one, so I, I can't vote on that one. I haven't Better listened to a Wasp song in a lot of years. <laughs> They're doing a tour. They're starting a tour in the fall, yeah, in the absolutely. spring. Yeah. Well, my my big question is how many of the venues is he going to cancel because he can't get his big ass mic stand through the he's door? He's such a and he's such a he's such a diva. I mean, seriously, it, is this this thing will implode before it even gets off? They're the actually they're playing the Ryman. I can't believe that they're playing. I the saw Ryman. that too. I saw that I'm too. Like, Who in the hell? Is, <laughs> I don't understand that. The Ryman must be desperate for bookings because I can't. I just. Well, can't. I mean, that's kind of a. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't go to like the the what's the Nashville the round the arena the. Oh, they're not gonna. Oh, fl- no way. No, 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 not the big. No, no, no. The old one. I saw Foo Fighters originally down there. It was like that little. It's a smaller venue. Oh, the Civic Center the thing. Civic, the auditorium. Uh, I don't Civic think. It, I don't know that it exists anymore. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, okay. No, I, no. I don't know. I don't know it if it not. does. I don't know. I would think that. Well, the, I don't think the Ryman, has, the Ryman has rules, so you would think they're not going to let the stinky fuckers in there. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> you riff raff. <laughs> because, you know, when you go when you walk in the Ryman stage and there's that circle there where they cut that out, you know, and took it yeah. to the. Yeah, right. that's just gonna. It, what it's just what's going to happen it's going to turn black i don't know <laughs> it's going to be like satan has been here i don't, know. <laughs> I don't think right. it's a good idea yeah bad idea all right, all right. good song bad idea all right dennis all right, all right. i'm gonna right go right with <laughs> okay all right so halfway through i'm going with buddy holly from weezer that's a great yeah. song to crank up i love that song that is a good one and especially when you get to that, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's, like, it's like if you haven't cranked it by then, you're going to crank it up. Then yeah. I just always, always like Weezer, they're, they're funny. I'd, I'd crank that one, no. yeah. All right. I'd crank that one. I, like I wouldn't song. turn it off, I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right, <clears throat> all right, all right. Back to you, Scott. What about you, Bill? You got to go, oh, Bill. Me, yeah. Do I have to go. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> this is a song, you, um, I got. I did not get to see them live because the show got canceled because of COVID, but something that Alex bought me for, I don't know, Christmas or my birthday or Father's Day, maybe something like that. And it was the music that whenever the football game started at North, when he was a senior, this was the music that played 
when um, he was the kickoff return kid guy. Right. And uh, that was disturbed down, disturbed down with the sickness. Oh yeah. And that can't be loud enough. It cannot yeah. be loud enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it can't. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear that live so bad to where it's, did so you guys see that loud. meme this week where he's he's in like a he's got a little night a little sock cap on and he's got a, a little cup and it says down with the Swiss miss. <laughs> Saw that. It's funny it's, shit. It's I actually see really, that. It's really funny. <laughs> down with I, I want to see that live so bad. I do. I got I'm actually, not a big disturbed fan. I'm just I'm never quite you know, got I bought that. the I, don't, I bought Alex bought me the disturbed live album right. from Red Rocks for Christmas last year. And it's a really good record, and mm. it part part of it's because Red Rocks is just an, inc- an incredible sure. place. But right. um, the music's real. I I like it. I like the whole thing. I, I and I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of Disturbed. I hadn't been right. one before. I really like that song, but it's a really good record. Mm. So yeah, it's good. So that's it. That's one of mine. That might be that might be in the top. That may be way up there at the top. If we were ranking them. I wouldn't turn it. I wouldn't crank it, but I wouldn't turn it off. I just kind of let it go. I don't like crank it long enough for the ooh ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm turn it back when, it, down. when it gets to the one part, I'm like, I when it starts the rap thing in the middle, in the dying right. a little bit. Yeah, okay. What well, number are we on now? Uh, we are on number on seven. Number seven. Number seven. Yeah. seven. Uh, all right, this one's yeah. from my uh, my favorite band, Led Zeppelin. Uh, hard for me to pick on this one as well, but uh, I'm going when the levee breaks. It's got good a song. good groove. Good song. Of course, anything. Bill, when we saw that. When we saw that group, uh, Jason Bonham's Led Zeppelin, yeah. right? their their version, I mean, the, all their versions were incredible. But when the levee breaks, just like floored me. So did uh, No Quarter that night. Yeah, they were. Those guys were incredible. They were on it. Yeah. And yeah. that's how they, I mean, that's the last, that's how they are. They were the last two times I saw them too. It's just, yeah. I like it's, that show it's so, you know, I, I keep telling people, you go, you just close your eyes. That's as close as you're ever going to get. <laughs> well, and I really liked how Jason Bonham every fourth or fifth song told a story about, you know, when that he was around cool his dad and his cool. band. And like that was so cool to me. Like I was mesmerized uh every time he was talking. Uh well, just and, the I, and, I, he told. and I forget what song he did, what song he did, but he played with his dad with his dad was playing, they were playing <laughs> the 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 uh yeah, I can't audio. Remember. I mean, yeah, playing the backfills and stuff like that. And he said it's because I can't do it justice. Yeah. I just can't. You know, that's, that's cool. and it was really, and you could tell, I mean, it was, but it was cool. And, and oh, he just owned it. He's like, yeah. you know, I want right. to play this song for you all, but I can't play it. So yeah, that's, that's really cool. Yeah. So pretty cool. All right, Alan. All right. My number seven is from uh, a guy that we've had on our show before way back in the early days, probably in the first year. I don't remember our, our friend, Jason Morris got him on the show. For oh us. yeah. Yeah. Uh, this song is not only a crank it to 11 song, but it is also what I call a speeding ticket song. Rhythm from a Red Car by Hardline. <clears throat> yep, I'd crank that song. Yeah. Hell Good yeah. Song. Good song. And he's writing it down. He's like, I don't remember that song. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. Yep. I don't know that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, um, isn't that Johnny Gioli? Johnny yeah. Gioli. Yeah. yeah. Correct. John Gioli. Yeah. And, and Neil Schoen and Dean Castronova. And yeah, I don't know who the other person is in the band. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. What it was. And true story, I didn't realize for the longest time that Neil Schoen and Dean Castronova were in that band. Mm-mm. You know, I think John Jonathan Kane might have also been in that. I had no clue till he was talking about it. Like, he was in Bad English with all of those <laughs> right. guys too. So yeah, I don't know. Neil Schoen's been in just about every fucking band in the world. True. <laughs> that, now he's in Journey. Yeah, yeah. imagine that. <laughs> did you? By the way, did you see the thing that the shit that was going on at the when they dropped the ball at Times Square, oh, oh I heard about one it, but I didn't really. Pay I didn't see it live, but I guess they were really given. Ben I can't think of the Arnell. guy that. Yeah, they were giving them a bunch of shit about the guys that were. Was it Cohen? What's his name? I can't think. Cohen O'Brien. No, no uh, Anderson I know Cooper. And it was Anderson Cooper and whatever that guy. Yeah, it's the guy from. It's a guy from. Does name. the he does the live show on, on anyway. Oh, they were giving a bunch of shit about it. Penis in his hand. He made it. He made it. He made a couple comments about it not being really journey. He made a comment about it not really being journey or something like that. Oh, fuck those guys. Neil got Neil got really a little good. And he should have got pissed. Oh, I mean, how long Arnell's been in Journey for twenty well, years? Well, it's him and it's him and him and Jonathan Kane. I think Dean played that night. If I'm not wrong, 
He may have. I think he did because I, I remember, remember seeing something on his post right. about going to New York. I don't remember. So it's like, I mean, that's jackass. Fuck those oh, guys. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come go. on the show? No, because <laughs> we don't want your fucking ass on here. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> Put knobs. <laughs> All right, Dennis. <laughs> that's your pick. <laughs> well, it's not going to be an Anderson Cooper song because that's barely not. Sing. <laughs> he didn't play shit. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to give up my fucking rock card on this one. I'm sorry, but it's a song that came on going to work the other morning. And it's a song that we actually attempted to play in our band and our singer could not sing it because he's like going, I don't know when this motherfucker's taking a breath because I'm running out of breath and I can't put these words out. And it's actually a Nickelback song and it's animals. <laughs> That's so funny. But it kind of got on my you're... list, but I didn't put my other list because I didn't want to get any shit from you guys. Well, I, I, I've song. told you this is going to be all over the place, but it is. I mean, it's a cranking song. I like it. it is. It's just, but it's this, we would play that song and Rob get about halfway through that verse. And he's like going, he goes, dude, I have no breath left. I can And I don't know. I'm sure what they did when they recorded this, they, they did it in pieces. And then he, cause you, I've listened to that song and I don't hear a breath being taken at all. And unless he's fucking got a hole in a, in his back or something like, like, a fucking, <laughs> like a dolphin or somewhere he's sucking in there i don't know how he's doing it to be honest i, I really don't he's like <laughs> he's got mcgills or something i don't know what the fuck he's doing but, but yeah it, it is and it's just this rocking song it's a good song well, i can't yank or crank that one because i don't know it oh it's good i like that song it's yeah, a I'm, good song i'm cranking that one but now i want to go listen to it and try to figure out uh where he breathes or he <laughs> yeah, there you go try to figure you out have homework sing. Yeah, let's try to figure yeah. out if I can sing it. But I, cool. yeah, it's a, and I'm, I, like I said, just listen to it. And it's like, you don't hear him t- breathing or anything. It's really weird. Yeah. Wow. All right. All right. Mine is, um, I've got a little Van Halen ain't talking about love. Ooh, all right. Who, who doesn't crank a Van Halen song? Yeah. I'm going There's some I don't, but yeah. yeah, I like that song. My old right. man did that one. It was fine. Cool. Yeah. I beat the shit right. out of my drums. <clears throat> all right my Let's number eight back to you yeah number eight yeah, pull my... yeah it's actually my number three i'm kind of counting backwards to my number one whatever but, uh this is by probably my second favorite group um and that's that's acdc but with bon scott i'm not a i'm not a big brian johnson fan click but uh, but i think i think bon <laughs> scott was the peacock of all peacocks in rock and roll um and he choked on his aspiration i guess but uh, I don't mean this is a tough one for me. Uh, I'm gonna go with Squealer, and that's Ooh, old AC. That's a good one. Wow, I was, I was down to Squealer and Little Lover. Um, both of them, both of them are pretty racy, the, the vocals, but uh, they're jams. I mean, they're they're a little slower grooves, a little little bit of a slow groove, but man, hmm. I love it. Cool. I cranked that. Songs. Yeah, Squealer. you can't get wrong with anything on it. I'll say it again. Uh, I was just saying, I've just had to go with Squealer. I saw uh, <laughs> the other day uh, somebody uh, quoted, um, "Oh, what? I'm drawing, a bl- I'm drawing a blank on the uh, um, lead guitarist for ACDC." Angus, yeah. Angus, 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 yeah. Somebody quoted Angus saying, "Somebody was making fun of us the other day for having 12 albums that sound exactly the same." And he's like, oh, he "Well, goes, that's cr- that's bull because it's got, 13. We made 13 <laughs> I albums saw that. that sound the same." <laughs> I saw, I saw that, that meme. That well, you know, yeah. you can't go wrong with anything on the Dirty Deeds album. Oh, oh no. that's good. Yeah. It's got my favorite good record song on there, actually. Cool, man. Good pick. All right, All right for Alan. My, for my next pick, we're going straight to mid 1980s art pop and one of the funkiest music video dudes ever, Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. Yes. I, I fucking I could listen to that song every day. Yes. I never get tired of that song and I turn it up every time. Well, I haven't heard that in a long time. It's a good song. We, we just picked that up with our horn band right that we play with. And oh, yeah? That's oh. a great song with the horn band. Oh, I bet so. Oh, it's a jam. Yeah. That's a good one. That's definitely. I would probably one. leave it. Leave it the same. Not a, no! Because you it's burn not a, on it. Oh, it's not a, it's, no, just, burn, just, no, it's just, just not something. I, I mean, it's okay. okay. Gotcha. It's okay for Bill to be wrong. <laughs> yeah, different opinions on here are not are not accepted. 
All right. All right, Dennis. My, my three last songs are really out there. I mean, there's you guys are like, what? But anyway, so third to like the compared last. to the first seven. <laughs> like I said, they're all I didn't go for the I didn't go for the the common. I went for the, the things that I've cranked recently. Right. Okay, so this one was on the alternative station. That's that I listened to that that station out of uh 891, the bash out of Vincennes University up there. But it's a song by Frank Ferdinand called Take Me Out. Oh yeah. You know that song? Yes. I used to play that on, on Guitar Hero. <laughs> it's kind of a cool song. <laughs> hey, was you good at it? Can you play it? <laughs> I can play. Yeah. Yeah. Guitar Hero. That's as that's as far as that's that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a song that, that's a song that goes blue, blue, red, red, blue, red, yellow. That's exactly right. <laughs> Goddamn green is like right when <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. song. I don't know why it's kind of an odd song, but when it yeah. gets to that dun. Dun, dun, it's like it's like you just go <laughs> cranking it up. Yeah. It's just a good that's, song. It's, that's it's the only way I can play it. And so it goes, near, 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 yeah. near. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> but anyway, it's different. But I just like one day I was listening. I actually I didn't know who did that. And I'm of course I'm driving to work, so I pull out the old Shazam, and it's like Frank Ferdinand. I'm like oh, Fra Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand. Franz. Yeah. I put Frank on my thing here. I, I it's Franz. Wrong. It's Franz. But yeah, good song though. Character yeah, that's Rangers. that was on that that's that uh, guitar hero, and so was mother. Yeah, mother, mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty yeah, good that one goes blue, blue, red, blue. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I started painting colors on my regular guitar so I could play them better. <laughs> maybe that's what I should have done. I should have took my acoustic and painted the colors on there. there. You go. Damn. Uh, maybe that's what that. I should try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, right. the next day, next time I see you, Scott, I'll bring you some little. Little uh, yeah, some dots. stickers. You can just stick them. You that would be them funny under. to. You could do that. You could put yeah. on your first five. You could just put them under the. the you could just put them under the strings, yeah. just so people would think you were doing it. That'd be funny as hell, though. <laughs> <laughs> we got oh, a new no. song. You just put the dots on there. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Half of us would get it. The other half would be like, "What the hell is he doing?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Billy. All right, it's to me. Be a hero. All right, my so mine is difficult for me to hear unless I'm listening to the CD because you can't get it electronically anymore. Which is a stand up, which is on the Rockstar soundtrack. Oh, that's a good song. So if you've not heard that, um, and Willie, you probably Scott, you probably haven't. So you might. Who wanna... was actually written by Sammy yeah, Hagar? Oh, that was yeah. almost written by Sammy. Well, and Jeff Pilson, I think there was a group no. of people writing that song. And Sammy Hagar's version is different. It's got a oh, little bit Oh, it is different? It. Oh. If you listen to Sammy Hagar's version of it, he's got a version of it. It's different, but it's yeah. it's similar. Similar, but different. But anyway. It's funny because the lyrics are different. A they bit. play that song. Like, they played that at the Colts game when I was there the other day. They always played part That's of that. great song. And the refrain. And it's a great song, but I looked earlier today because it's not on iTunes. It's not on Amazon. It's mm -hmm. not... I've looked a couple of places. It's been stripped down from, and I didn't realize that. It's so. on the Rockstar soundtrack, and that's about the it is. And I have that. I have, I have CD, that. I have that so. CD also, and I've got it on my iPod. And it's in my car. You sure that's yes. not on? You sure that's not on Spotify? I, I didn't. I didn't that. say that because I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't have a clue. I, I think have, it is. I don't subscribe to Spotify. I bet it's I not. Don't be so, so cheap. Because I can't subscribe to everything, dude. I'm not like you. I don't have like. I don't have like a you know rich wife. Like you do, yeah. The rock, rock, they got the Rockstar movie soundtrack. Also, stand up and shout by you know, Dio's version. It's yeah, but not, not Dio's version. I know it's I know it's different. But Sammy Hagar's it's just called Stand Up. Yeah, so, the one on the one on the on the Rockstar record is stand is Stand Up. Right. Anyway, yep. good good song. Yeah, I'd crank yep. it. Awesome. Willie will crank it too once he listens to it. He'll be all right now. Yeah, I gotta oh, look yeah. that one up. That's a badass song. It is badass. That whole soundtrack's badass. All right, that to me. Yeah, back to you. This is my number two. Well, I'm. I kind of rank mine, but uh, "Seek and Destroy" Metallica. Good song. I'm not a Metallica fan, but I, I'll crank it. I crank. It. Yep, I crank that. Is that off of. Uh, is it off "Ride the Lightning"? Kill them uh, all. Kill them all. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, kill them all. Earlier, earlier one. Got you. Yeah, that's a three one. Yeah, we're good. All right, Ellen. Bob Seger, her strut. Good oh song. yeah, I played that in my first band in high school, but I'm not burnt on it. I like that song. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, that was before they had electricity. So yeah, that was back in the day. <laughs> Wait, back That's for me. He's going to be a. That was before Bob Seger was alive. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not a big Bob Seger fan. Just not a. Did he die or, recently, or did I just? I heard you somebody dreamed that. No. Somebody, well, somebody asked me. He goes, oh, I heard that Bob Seger died. I said I hadn't heard that, but I haven't been. I've been on a news blackout since New Year's. He, New Year's Day, so I don't. I have not heard that he has passed, and I'm sure that would be big news. Yeah, the podcast circles. You guys, have you guys heard that song that he did with uh, Three Doors Down when he came back after throat cancer, uh, "Landing in London." Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The great tune, great harmonies in it. Like, put that one down to to listen to. Have to check it out. I think it was his first song that he recorded after his uh, throat cancer. Got you. Great song. Hmm. Check it out. I like him. It's your turn, DT. Oh, no, it's your turn. It's Did your you turn. Bob Seger. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. All right, Dan, it's yours, Dennis. I, I deal with these elderly Seger. people all the time. Uh, <laughs> no, but you, went, you go before I do. No, he already went. He just said I Bob Seger, dude. Oh, you Bob did. Seger. I'm sorry. My brain, I'm tired. I'm half asleep. All right. see, I just I didn't know either, but he didn't know and didn't know. And so he's just I'm not keeping track. I'm I'm in a daze. <laughs> I, I took a nap right before this started. I'm going right back to sleep as soon as I get done. Okay. Uh gonna slow it down this time, but it's a song that I cranked up. I heard it the other it was like I heard it on the work on the way on to the work. Way the back from Lowe's? No, on, on actually going to work the other morning. Oh. And it's by the Nixon's sister. You know I that don't song? know that song. You'll not know a clue. It. If you heard it, you'll you'll know it. It's it's really good. It's a slow song, but it kicks ass. And but yeah, as soon as you start listening, to it, you go, "Oh, I know that song." And and I'm gonna tell you something, Scott. He says that about stuff, and then you're not gonna know it. No, seriously, you know this bizarre song. bullshit it's stuff that only big. Know. It's big time. No, my times by Peter Gabriel. I'm like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no, you've heard you've heard this song. I guarantee it. Okay, we'll take your word for it. How's that? Yeah. All right, my uh, next pick is um, I'm pick. I picked a Led Zeppelin song to it as my favorite Led Zeppelin song, which is Cashmere. Oh, the beginning it. of that song, yep. just you, you my know. favorite favorite one. Yeah, just no, I'm, I'm a love it. We just oh yeah, we just added that with our horn band as well. Oh, oh nice! Yeah. It's a really cool one with the horns. Now you got to play somewhere. Uh, actually, I'll be sending you an invite. Uh, we we'll get a private Ooh. party December 29th. You'll be invited to. Oh, cool! Oh. I expected on my. <laughs> Did hey, you say did you say you December got... 29th? Oh, I'm sorry, January 29th. <laughs> because because <laughs> sorry, That's I'm not coming to that show. <laughs> yeah, January 29th. <laughs> That'd be bad. All right, all right, let's go. We're last. Is this the last one? Yeah. All is right, it? man. It is. It's okay, we almost finished. I finished with a <clears throat> with my favorite Judas Priest song, and that is "Victim of Changes." Great song. Oh, nice song. That. Cranking that. Yeah. We'll Good take it. Love it. Right I'm so on. glad they did it down in Louisville. I figured they yeah. would, but yeah. And it was, it was fantastic. I just can't get over how that guy can sing like that still. Yeah. He can hit those. He can hit the high notes. Yeah. Good. It's the beard pulling on his vocal cords. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does kind of lean like this the whole time. Yeah, he's hunched over. <laughs> he can't keep his head up. It's Probably got well, a, he's got a string from his beard to his nutsack, and then he pulls up. He's actually, ah, I don't know. Oh, jeez! That's why he wears those big coats all the time because he's, he's, he's cramp, clamping down on his nutsack. I don't know, just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he did more. He did more. He did more clothes changes. Okay, Alan, Cheryl. it's your turn. Last time I, last time I see him. <laughs> Well, he did. He changed. Yeah. Last time I saw he him, he changed those coats every song yeah. and twice, yeah. I think, in one song. <laughs> yeah. He w- walked off stage during a guitar solo. Come yeah. Back come back with stage. a different coat. <laughs> right. He did that. that as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's... All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go back to the early 80s pop and one of them girls that I had a crush on, even though I was like 12. And uh, we got to beat by the Go Go's. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were gonna say "Hey Mickey" by Tony Basil. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh jeez, no, that was my number eleven. That's my honor. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany, Debbie Gibson. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't Never be talking on you, them. They're did my you see age. the? Did you see the the meme about the Bengals today? And it says uh, it shows that what's the girl, what's that what's that Susanna girl? Hoff is sixty three today. today. And then she was she when she looked over like. Walks like an Egyptian, every and she kind of turns like, every fourteen-year-old boy. <laughs> you know exactly what she's singing when you see that. It's like, yeah. <laughs> all right. So my how last, old, one, how old was she today? 
50, how old was he? 53? 63. 63. Wow. wow. Yes. He's that much older than I am. Good Lord. Wow. Wow. It's crazy. She's a whole lot better looking than you, though. A she lot. Guarantee a it. lot. On her Guarantee worst it. day. Guarantee it. All right. So my last of the top 10 here is a song that I had to, I had to, I knew who it was, but I had to Shazam it to find out what it was. <laughs> Uh, it's another one of those bands that you like, I think it was, uh, one of you talked about earlier, it said that, you know, the singer, even though he's got a rough voice and everything can, can clean it up also. And that's, his, and the song song is called dead memories and it's from slipknot. And it's one of those songs. that's a really decent, I'm not a big slipknot fan, but I'm a huge Corey, Corey Taylor fan. Corey Taylor's solo stuff that he's done. It do. It's got a beautiful voice. Yeah. He does great stuff. And it's one of these are one. This is one of the Slipknot songs that I can stand. It's not just all that blah, kind of bullshit going on. It's actually, but it's got a good, uh, got a good guitar into it. And it's just one of those ones I was like, damn, that sounds good. Cranked it up, and then I had to Shazam it to figure out which one it was. So today, to find out all these songs, I had to go back in my Shazam list of, of my history of Shazam and shit. To, oh, that was that song. So anyway. Talk. So is this a song that when we listen to it, we're going to go, oh, we've heard that song, or is that's probably not? You, but you've probably heard this song, seriously. I mean, if it's if it's been on, it was it had a lot of radio play for a while. Not on it's the radio. One of the I few, listen. well, but I'm, you know what I'm saying. It's been on the radio. Okay. Check it out. All right. You like it. So my last one is um, <clears throat> Brian Adams' tune, actually. Um, Brian Adams, Tina Turner duet. It's only oh, yeah. love. Yeah, that's a good song. That and the live version of that that's on the greatest hits record, and I forget which uh, so far so good or something like that. That is I'd seeing that live would be incredible. Yeah. So great oh, tune. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Awesome. Have you heard that, Scott? I don't know. I'm trying to think. I am not sure I have. Yeah, it's got that beginning guitar riff. You know that's really you know cool. That. You know that you'll know you'll, you'll know, know that when you hear it. Oh, you'll know when you're here. As soon as you hear it. First note, you'll be like, Yeah, I heard it. Heard it. Heard it. <laughs> crank it <laughs> he's like i don't think we listen to the same shit <laughs> <laughs> what, what planet are you well, getting your fucking radio where, station from? Where are you, kidding? <laughs> you got a transistor I, I radio more, or an... <laughs> I, I thought we'd have more overlapping and uh, surprisingly we haven't i don't think uh, we've had anything overlap i don't think we've well, had one song that was the same alan's yeah. been picking off a, a longer list though he really didn't the, I mean, everybody's list could be 25 right. that's there's true there's millions true. of songs out there. No, i mean it's just and like no, I said, we didn't I, pick any of the same songs it's never happened before i tried to not pick songs that you know tesla modern day cowboy was the only one i thought that people would do i kind of went off the cuff you know not just my favorite all time this you know, like stranglehold you know i i didn't put it on there for a reason <laughs> i mean it's not that i wouldn't crank it it's just that's well, of course, I'm going to fucking crank that song. <laughs> it's fucking great, you know. Well, but I wanted to kind of open it, it up. If I'm not the lead guitar player, it's the most boring song to play. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I've and you better not ban. I'm burnt. I'm burnt. You know what? I'm burnt on it. Yeah. I'm burnt on it. I have played that song on drums and on bass guitar, and it's a fucking snooze fest. Well, I'm telling you right now, though, that's one of those songs, along with uh, the Pink Floyd song. And there was another one. That there's 18 guitar players doing this, standing there watching you, and you fuck that oh, lead yeah. up. You They're gonna call out. your ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm like going. Unless I knew that song note for fucking note, with my eyes closed and one hand behind my back, I wouldn't play that fucking shit live for nothing. Because some right. dicks gonna go, "Oh, you fucked that up." <laughs> and it's a long lead. It's a lot he of shit to remember. A B flat instead of a B there. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Same way with another brick in the wall part two. You and better, if you start playing that motherfucker, you better hit those notes. You better hit every fucking nuance, every pull. You better hit it some bitch right because there's yeah. going to be one pecker head that's going to call you. Out. You know, you know, the good thing though is when you're playing Guitar Hero, it's like blue, green, blue, green. Nobody's <laughs> judging your ass. You, yeah. <laughs> you should have hit red and you hit blue, fucker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah. There's a, yeah. There's a little animated guy that comes well, in. You missed I'm that one, douchebag. Sure. I'm pretty sure in rock guitar, when you hit the wrong note, doesn't it go like ding, ding? Yeah, yeah it, zap, it zaps you a little bit. Yeah. I've never been so glad that I don't play the guitar that well until right now. You <laughs> yeah. It's, there's some songs out there you don't, like I said, unless you, I know, two, I know two guys that can, I know for the, the, for the Pink Floyd song, I knew two guys that can play that almost, I mean, basically note for note, and they do real good at it. And I knew a guy could do Stranglehold like that, but he's not, not no longer with us. He passed away. And uh, actually, I have I have um, hey, actually, no, Bill, you know, Bill, 
you remember when we went down to uh alan you might have been with us when we went to the old uh mattingly's place that night oh yeah yeah and rod was and playing acoustic guitar with the other guy you were not oh, oh rod was oh, yes guy, rod was guy. playing acoustic guitar the guy who was really messed some, up some yeah, jack that he was guy, jack. He took him that. took him took him 10 minutes to light a cigarette yeah, yeah. he's like, the one that could do like, that yeah he could do that but he, he ended up he, he died so <gasps> Oh shit! I feel bad. Now. Yeah, he passed away. <laughs> no, he passed away about a oh, year and a half. Ago. Yeah, two yeah. years after that. Yeah. Oh wow, crazy! That, All right, uh, do you guys have any honorable mentions you want to run through real quick? Got one. Scott. Got one. Let our guest go. Scott, first. you got yeah. how many? You got man? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, it was another song that was kind of combined two of my groups. It's when Ronnie James Dio was singing for Black Sabbath, but it's Heaven and Hell. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, crank, yeah. crank. Yep, yeah. yep. Just read them off real quick. We'll just crank them or yank them. Uh, another one I had was uh, Queen of the Reich. Queen's Reich. Yeah, keep it. It was always even. a cranker for me. Right. Yep. Uh, those are the only couple I had written down. All right. Do you have any? What, what else you got, Alan? You got anything else? Real quick. Uh, you got a again, list of 75, though. Again, by Alice in Chains. Free Ride by Edgar Winter Group. The Bad Touch. Synchronicity 2 by The Police. Cover Me by Bruce Springsteen. Yep. Oh, I could go on and on. Yeah. There's like at least 75 songs on that playlist no kiss right. songs though okay. wow there's only one kiss song compl- at all on here i know yeah. all right wow. all right alan are dennis you got any extras yes i got a song from a band called hum and the song is called stars and it's a it's a major cranker you get a chance to listen to that song it's really really good i wanted to do that on my old band and we just never got around it i mentioned it and we just never did try to pull it off, but it's never really heard of that band at all. It's yeah, an alternative. They hope that you would forget. <laughs> yeah, well, it's one of those ones. I like it. I like that song a lot, and okay. just some people don't. But you, you, it's a good cranker. Every time he says that, that means your chance of you liking it. No, really come silly. back next week. Tell me. Listen to the okay, song. I will. I'll. I'll try to. I'll try to find him. All right. All right. That'll, so I had a couple more. So I'll read. I'll just right. read through these. So I right. had um, "Breaking the Law," Judas Priest. I had "American oh, yeah. Woman" by oh. Lenny Kravitz. Yep. I had Alien Ant Farm, our Smooth Criminal by Alien great Ant song. Farm. Great I song. think it's a great song. Um, much it. better than Michael Jackson version. Mm. Uh, Monkey Business by Skid Row. Good song. Um, hey Baby by Ted Nugent. Um, yep. uh, I had uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin by Warren. Oh, that's, that's a fucking that major, is, that major that crank. That was on the that list, down. off the list, on the list, off the list. Oh, I should have put that on my <laughs> list. My favorite <laughs> Warren song. Yeah, I can I'll tell you when they when they played that in Nashville. As soon as they yeah. started, I was I and with the acoustic, I just went that shit crazy. I was just my like, radio actually doesn't go loud enough for that one. You got the full eighteen <laughs> centimeters. Yeah, I was like, shit. come on, man. <laughs> um, I have uh, Cadillac Jack, which is a song that uh, Hair of the Dog does. I love that song. Oh, it's really yeah, good. I know you talking like about the now. first song on the record. Yeah, it's a great. Song. Um, and then Smooth Up in You by Bullet Boys. Good song. Um, Shake and Tumble by Firehouse, and uh, that's it. Cool. Oh, fun. So yeah, I had a couple well, extra songs to, that were pretty good. I need to check out some of these ones that I didn't know. So, so I built me a playlist of these, cool. and I'll have to add the other ones that that. Uh, it's kind of cool that we. I can't believe we did not have any overlaps. Yeah. That is that is that amazing. Is weird. That's weird. Out of forty songs, there were right no overlaps. E- even like in the honorable mentions, like no overlaps. Those no. Were overlaps. No, that's yep. insane. That I mean, never. I, that never. I don't think it's ever happened. My list is my list is right here. I mean, it's it's, it's just written. a white screen, dude. Oh, oh it says I modern have. day cowboy. No, that's the when he holds one. it still long enough. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm too, I'm too tired to hold my hand. You can't up. even hold it up, man. It happens. It's it's usual. It's usually just flopping around your hand. You're used to yeah, it. No shit. <laughs> Flopper. <laughs> You'd be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so Scott, you're, so on the show one night, we're watching the we're Alan and I are sitting there, and the whole and I time got this thing is, in my hand. I'm sitting there got doing this thing this. in his hand. We can't figure out what it is, but he's doing this the whole time. I'm just playing he's with right. it. He's like doing this and flipping it around. <laughs> and I'm texting Dennis. I'm texting Alan, and going, "What the hell is he got in his hand? <laughs> what What is it? I've been wondering what it was. It's a knife. It's like for work. We we cut shrink wrap and stuff with it. It's a little thin knife you okay. can put in your thing. It's just it's a safety where you can't cut. It's yourself. a it, it's a copy. It's a digital. It's a digital. Um, you know, you know one of those a, plastic uh, prints of. Whatever. clever it's called clever cutter is what it's called uh, anyway whatever anyway all right yeah. man well um hey tell people where they can find info about the three beards yeah. well we got a, a facebook page uh three beards strumming and uh, a lot of times just the three of us we're all on acoustics um uh, 
my lead guitar player and I both play Martins and, and uh, my bass player plays an, uh, an acoustic bass. And a lot of times we add some of the horns. Sometimes we go electric, uh, not we, the other guys go electric and I stay on my acoustic. But a lot of the horn songs we do, um, I'm just singing. I'm not really playing, you know, like Chicago and Earth, Wind and Fire and some of that stuff that, you know, we, I just, I, I don't need to be playing on that. I got to worry about singing some of that stuff. But that's really where we post our, our stuff that we're doing uh, on on our Facebook uh, page. And, uh, you know, we're all three dads and, and uh, busy with our kids and, and we play as much as we can. And we probably both would all three love to play more. And, um, but, you know, we have a great time doing it. Obviously, Alan and Dennis, you guys are, are currently in bands and have been in bands for. I am, yeah. I'm not now, but I but and you can come in and out and you can play, oh, yeah. you can step in with people and and uh, that's a lot of fun. I've actually just started harmonica lessons, um, oh. just to just so I can it, I want to be able to do like some blues leads at lead outs when we do some a lot of some bluesy stuff and and uh, actually we're playing uh, uh, with the full horn band. I'm playing uh, harmonica on the 29th on uh, Piano Man. Cool. So I got a. I don't want to stress so instead out of too instead much. of blue red instead of blue yeah. red yellow blue it's now right. it's now it's now blow suck suck blow yeah. blow suck blow suck. Right. <laughs> and I, I have to take the harmonica out to look what color I'm supposed to blow and then I got to put it back it's confusing. I'm sorry, I could I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it's like <laughs> or it's like flavors. It's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that was awesome. I had to jump. Oh shit! Oh man. Anyway. All right, man. Well, thanks for being on the show. We really appreciate it. Hang yeah, out for yeah. just a second, okay? Yeah. Yep. All right, Alan, get us out of here, bro. All right, folks, y'all know what to do. Agesofrock.com. There's some social media, past episodes, and all that other bullshit. Till next time, peace out. Thanks for listening to the Ages of Rock podcast. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and most importantly, tell all your friends. Remember, you're never too old to rock. Until the next episode, peace out, folks.